My name is Elliot Schneider. I'm with the city of St. Peter's, Missouri. Uh, we're a, a small uh, suburb outside of the city of St. Louis. My official role is the manager of environmental and fleet services. Uh, I manage uh, all of our environmental spectrum from bio, uh, biosolids residuals. We have a biosolids aerated static pile composting facility. We transfer about 700 tons of garbage a day in our transfer station. We have a material recovery facility, solid waste collections, and fleet maintenance. So. Uh, responsible for all those operations. I've been in, in this role with the city or various different roles uh, with the city over the past 15 years. So I started there as the equipment operator on the biosolid side of the house and frankly uh, had phenomenal leadership and uh, a great guy that's uh, still my boss today. He's our city administrator. He encouraged me to do more. Go back to school, get some certifications, and over the time I saw that you know this composting thing was in the infancy stage. And it was an opportunity to make a difference. It was an opportunity to be something, part of something bigger, uh, and be able to you know provide growth throughout the duration of my career. Relationship with Moorbark was sought out. I ran a, a different brand of equipment and I wasn't necessarily satisfied with the service and support out of that company. And I reached out to St. Louis Composting and I said, you know, you guys are running 16 some odd Moorbark grinders, you know, what do you think? And so I went to Patrick's site as a kind of collaborative effort. We took an opportunity to demo all the brands. For me on the municipal side, that's a, that's a massive capital expense that has to be very well justified. And so I took a lot of time working with uh, Bruce, my salesman, and Bruce followed through with everything that he had stated. So we asked, can we get a demo machine in? I want to see it on my material. I'm thoroughly impressed. And I looked at all the other brands. And for me to justify that expense, I made Bruce put his money where his mouth was. And you know, every dealer, every manufacturer is going to come in and talk to you about O and O cost. And there was none of that with Moorbark. They sold on the merits of their machine, which you know, I was really attracted to the organization because of that. It wasn't the bad mouthing the competition. And they, like I said, they put their money where their mouth was. I, I asked for some O and O expenses. Uh, in reporting on the machine, and we verified that. We did a very thorough evaluation of this machine, and there wasn't one thing that Moorbark was, was selling that wasn't you know, an honest statement of their product. We operate one Moorbark grinder. We have a 3400 XT horizontal machine on tracks, uh, 850 horse cat power, and um, that's all we need. Bruce and, and Corey and the engineering team and the service team came out. We gave it a solid demo. Um, and, you know, they showed us that that 3400 could achieve all of our needs. We have taken an approach where we look at all of our operations and our input costs in a full cost accounting method. We break that out into a tangible figure, which for us is cubic yards. We relate that to dollars. And we do that through engine hours. So how many hours is this grinder going to run a year? What does it cost us to run it as a capital expense, repair and maintenance, so all of our input costs going into it. And the previous manufacturer, you know, we were running that grinder somewhere in the ballpark 1,800 to 2,200 hours a year. The first year we owned that Moorbark, we had an increase in incoming product of about 25 to 30%. We put 480 hours on that machine in one year. We brought that in and, and again, they showed us that we don't need that bigger machine and, and I have my doubts. Again, you know, there was that, that sense, that uneasy feeling that we might outgrow this machine. And after that demo, I was so comfortable with this that this, was the large, this machine was the largest sole source purchase in the history of the city of St. Peter's without going to bid. We justified this machine strictly on its uh, operating uh, parameters and performance.